hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to add headers in the list view and in case you missed previous discussion about how to add a group by option in the list view please check link is given in the description if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel under the home screen you can see odoo 1718 development tutorial right now we are working on this playlist if you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning, you can visit this playlist because this is the main playlist and those are the topic wise sub playlist available. All right. Let's back to our main topic guys. If you didn't subscribe this channel, please subscribe. It will help me a lot. Plus you will also get the latest notification about the upcoming session, how to add headers. So in this topic, we are going to see two things. One thing is how to add a header in the list view and how we can also add some custom buttons inside the header. All right so let's say if i'm going to here in the student profile right let me refresh the screen like this here you can see the actions is available right and you can see how many records i selected you can see here right now i want to also add one more button here then how can i do it right so odoo provides the header part here this is the header part we have to consider in the list view okay so here let's say i'm going to the cells here you can see this create invoices option the button is available right so we can also do something like this here in this student profile oh sorry in the list sorry in the school profile okay so once i click here we need to also add multiple buttons here to perform some specific action okay so for that we can go to this uh, not in the odoo but let's say custom add-ons student uh let's say we don't need to search anything views school view right uh let's say here in this list view we can go inside this list view right now you can see here this is our specific list view now here we have to add header like this okay inside this list tag we have to add one more tag which is the sub tag of list like this and here we can add a button okay now type is the object and let me open the models because in our last session we already added one method right this abc test so let's use this one only as of now and now i have to upgrade the module okay why because we change in the xml side and guys if you don't know how to configure or do in pycharm like this way please check editor level playlist i already explained everything so let me refresh one more time okay you cannot see here anything as of now right but let's say if i will select here oh you can see here the click me button is here right now let me open the pie charm let me remove everything here and once i click here boom it will perform some operation right what operation you can see here this print operation now you can see uh we selected only one record right which is the first record so that's reason you can see like this let me delete all the logs let me select also let's say four records right you can see id is one seven eight and nine boom and now you can see here the self contains right the selected records only so what is the reason right why we need to use here for example let's say there is a specific action you want to perform right let's say the server action or the windows action or your custom method you want to perform let's say in this click event i want to check some validations here or let's say there is a, some integration part is there and you want to post this data to the third party or let's say you want to import something from third party right or if you want to do some operations internally in that case you can add here multiple buttons right now the question is how you can also add multiple buttons so simple thing is you can click to like this right and here let me add one more time let's say duplicate 
click me button something like this right you can add multiple buttons so let's see here okay let me refresh the screen right once i click here now you can see the multiple buttons is available right now one more thing is let's say if i don't want to select only right if i select after it this button is visible right but what if i don't want to select any records but still the button would be available here then how can i do it right so simple thing is odoo also provide the same thing uh, let's say here you can add one more attribute which is display equal to always right and this display attribute supports only one value which is the always okay let me uh, minimize this one and let me refresh the screen and now you can see here this button is visible here right and now you can see here once i click here this button is visible plus this duplicate click me button is also visible here so these two buttons visible like this way right if i'm going to this cells you can see this upload button right so this is the magic of header of the list view so i hope you understood about this topic right in case you still have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in our next session and our next session would be how to apply decorations in the field level right in our previous sessions we already talked about the full decoration but in as a record level right like this now in our next session i'm going to show you in a field level decorations how you can also apply so see you there